It's playoff time here in the Electro Sports Baseball League and Colonel School are taking on Stardozer Human Resources in the first game. Uh, we've got loads of these to get through, so uh, let's let's see what's what. Well, I say loads. We've got, we've got all of the, the kind of first matches to play. Uh, Stardozer come away with the win uh, from that one. Well done there, Stardozer. Jolly good. Uh, one win to them. Uh, next up is Peninsula Transport versus Bulldozer Power, which is the game that we're here to see. And let's get to the ballpark. A couple of changes in the lineup. Hatchet Malibu's back in for Bernie Crampons, and uh, Ulysses Failure has come in to replace uh, Veronica Hammock. Uh, Desmond Eyeliner will be pitching for us today. Uh, Julius Hardware, meanwhile, stays in the lineup ahead of Steve Murray. Uh, as much as we hate him, uh, we can't knock the performance that he's been putting in uh, to date. So, Des Eyeliner pitching for us. Scott Lemon first at bat. And uh, we're hoping to start the series quite brightly here uh, because we, do, we, well, we want to stay in, don't we? Yeah. All right. Well, he's, he's gone for the first pitch of the game. Hatchets underneath it. And that's out number one. Solid. Uh, we like that. His Mono uh, sacrifice. And uh, I, I don't get it. I don't get their season stats anymore. I can't tell you if they're any good. Well, well, we'll find out over the course of the game. Go on, go on, someone. Kojak. Not quite. Okay, well, it was, you know, it was worth a go. Uh, yeah. All right, no, stick with the fastball. Let's not show him another pitch until we have to. Right, let's try and finish him on the curve. Go on. D wrong way. Run, no. Ah, hmm. Okay, we gave that up. We had two opportunities to get him there. Uh, but uh, we made a mess of it. And uh, we hate him, we hate him. Julie Hardware couldn't keep hold of it. Uh, which is which is disappointing, to say the least. But there it is. Uh, a bit of a bit of an error from BDP early on. I'm hoping it won't come back to haunt us. But you know how things can haunt. Hatchet with an early dive doesn't get to it. Zoltan retrieves in centre field and passes it out to third. Uh, runners now first and second, no out. Jackson Clown Car at the plate. And uh, it's always worth wearing, bearing in mind that uh, in the playoffs, uh, there is a slightly higher level of performance than you've previously been used to. Uh, it's all still jolly doable, but you've got to be uh, you've got to be on your best game in order to proceed. Progress to process the future of whatever. There you go. Des gets his first strike out of the afternoon and that's solid. Uh, Mighty Buffon is up next. Uh, fifth in batting order. Play shortstop. Uh, he's got a rather surprised look about him and he does have a Buffon. So, uh, and if, well, you know, that one's gone foul. All right. Come on, Des. Dig deep, man. All right. How, how did you... How did you... I don't know how you anticipate that. I think I'd only thrown one mid count flame in what not before. Hatchet's gone deep for that one. And that's out number three. Sides retired. Good. Well, we gave up a couple of hits there, which we shouldn't have given up, and uh, somehow managed to salvage everything from that one. So here's Cindy, and uh, is she going to set the tone for Bulldozer Power today? What, swinging at the first pitch, getting stopped short and uh, out. Yeah, I think that that's possibly realistic. Here's Hatchet Malibu. Uh, a better player than Crampons. But uh, Crampons brings a certain something to the team. She's going to be out as well. And uh, there's, there's that. Okay, well, that will bring in Ulysses Failure. Freshly rested after a, uh, a week riding the bench uh, to allow Hammock to play on fan favourites day. Uh, what's, he going to, uh, what's he going to accomplish? Well, he's going to stand here and soak up a few pitches to start with, and then, uh, and then we'll swing at one. Maybe. Maybe we'll swing at one. We'll see. Shouldn't have swung at that, really. Should have, should have let it happen. Anyway, he's gone as well, and uh, at the end of one, it's all square. Nothing to nothing. Poncho Ramirez next up to bat for Peninsula Transport. And uh, Des is going to be trying to trying to find a way to uh, to get through this inning. In a way that uh, people will find compelling. All right, let's put this... Oh, no. You're anticipating a... I don't know how they're anticipating that. I haven't called it often enough yet, surely. Although, is it now a case that if I... Yeah, they're anticipating every time I throw a fastball. 
That's ridiculous. Des there, giving up a walk. Couldn't find a target. Couldn't couldn't make it happen. And once again, we've got someone on base that we didn't need to have. Uh, Des needs to settle down. All right, yeah, do him again. Keep keep hitting him with this stuff. That one's got a furious. Oh, a, a, a quinky... A weird bounce there. Uh, not seen that before. And uh, and we gave up another base hit where it, it was potentially... We could have uh, we could have had a double play off that. All right, Des. Get your, get your head in the game, man. That's it. Okay, come on. That's it. Let's, let's put some good stuff in here. There you go. Strike two. And Des does have a heck of a, a heck of a slide on him when he wants it. Well, he, he wants it now. Okay. All right, try that. There you go. Second strike out. Des eyeliner. But he's got he's to be a bit more, bit more consistent. Is Blix Gornock who is the pitcher? Uh, see if we can't... Uh, See if we can't deal with him. If he's going for a bunt, that would be a mistake in my uh, in my view. There you go. They've advanced the runners, but that's another out. Here's Scott Lemon around to the top of the order. Actually, no, that was strategically that was a fairly sound move. He only needs a base hit here, and we've got uh, we've got trouble. Yeah. And Papal out number three. Good save again. Bulldozer Power having to dig deep to uh, to dig them where dig their way deep out of the digging deeply that they've done where they've been digging, uh, getting themselves out of an eyeliner shaped hole. Uh, we've done it twice now. Don't want to do it again. Thank you very much. Here is uh, Papal Event Horizon. We almost takes one to the kneecaps, which wouldn't be good. There's strike one. Sticks that one straight up to centre field, and it's the first base hit of the day for Bulldozer Power. Good. Right, okay. That's that's a bit more like it. Let's uh, let's get some of that going. Furious Sponge Bath up next. Uh, had himself a good season. If a little unremarkable. I mean, he had good stats, but an unremarkable season. I can't remember what his stats were, of course, but it was over five, uh, it was over 400 at his uh, batting average, uh, and that's a that's a good thing. Strike one. It was a bit low. I wouldn't necessarily call that a strike. I wouldn't call that a strike either, necessarily. Furious there. Swings at uh, a slightly wide pitch, but with uh, two strikes against him. He's going to have to go for something. That's promising if it stays safe. <laughs> and off the foul post. It's a home run. And Bulldozer Power open the scoring in this one. Uh, well, we've we've had some we've had some bounces and some rebounds and all of that kind of business that you don't usually see, uh, but it's nice to get a home run. Zoltan Zoltan up next, uh, a relatively reliable member of the team, but uh, he certainly locks down centre field most of the time. That's a nice hit as well. Yep, wrap it up, stick it in the bag, chuck it in the post box. That one's gone, and Zoltan knocks one out over centre field. And Bulldozer Power now with a three-run lead. Uh, looking a little bit more capable. No outs yet this inning. Here is uh, Julie Hardware. Wastes no time in hitting one foul. Come on, Julie. Wait for it. Strike two. Sticks that one foul as well. We're getting some, getting some weird curves coming in. Julie's going to keep fouling these out because it does him no harm. He's not going to foul that one, though. He's going to get caught. Ah, that's all right. He had... He had, a, he had a fair few pitches. His uh, clean-up artiste, uh, Kojak, Mr. Ron. And uh, she's going to, well, anything. I don't know. That's okay. It's not. And a sliding catch there from uh, Poncho Ramirez and, uh, and Kojak's out. Here's Des Eyeliner to finish off our batting order. Well, he, he has been known to hit the ball. Uh, and his pitching isn't all that today. I mean, he's had two strikeouts, so that's quite nice. Uh, but is he going to be able to accomplish anything with the bat? Well, no, 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 no. Don't swing at that. Too late. Swung at it. It's over. Nope. There you go. Base hit for the pitcher. Which means that all of you batting people that haven't had a base hit yet. Shame. Shame. And shame. Here's Cindy. Uh, runner on first. Two outs. Uh, we've already already accomplished plenty this inning. So it's not the end of the world if this doesn't turn into anything solid. 
And that one's gone foul for Cindy. Strike two now, no balls. You're not... He's a pitcher. I'm not going to try and have him steal a base. He's not flipping Superman. Oh, flip Cindy. A massive fast ball there, and Cindy Vapid's a goner. Uh, and at the end of two, Bulldozer Power lead three to nothing. Myra Sacrifice up next for Peninsula Transport to try and turn this around. Uh, she might. It, it's certainly possible. Yeah, no, nothing happening there. No. Okay. And, uh, Oh, nice pitch from Des there. No, finally, finally, Des. Is, it, is he finding his rhythm? Or uh, or is it just a, a series of flukes that occasionally line up ever so slightly? Julie, two first. No, no, never mind. No, that one didn't go over the line. All right, that's a, that's very much out of the uh, out of the strike zone, that one. That one, too. Yeah. Des, stop trying to be clever. Just throw the pitch. That's a good stuff. There we go. We'll keep that one. Oh, and uh, eyeliner there. He's having a mare. He drops the the, the two foot catch from Kojak to get the tag, and that's no. Oh, we we allowed another base hit. Disgraceful. Well, fielding errors have been something of the story of the day so far. And with the and and Des on the uh, from the mound is is not. Playing at what could be described as peak performance. Could be described as a bit peaky. Uh, that one's popped up. Furious is going to have it. Probably. You would assume he'd have it. But the way that we're playing at the moment, I couldn't tell you. Uh, I don't know. I just, anything could happen and probably will. All right, Des. Keep it straightforward. There you go. Right, and then uh, something of this variety. That's a very big hit there. Don't, I can't remember who... Blimey, that is a big hit. Uh, up to the second tier of centre field, and that's a home run. And uh, Peninsula Transport find themselves back in the game. 454 feet. Jackson Cloudcar there. Putting in a putting in a, a big one. Oh, yeah, he's gone. It went large. 3-2 to two now the score. One out. Mighty Buffont up to bat. And we've got ourselves a game. Hatchet. Makes no mistakes. And that's out number two. Here's Poncho Ramirez. He had a walk first time around. We can't allow that kind of behaviour. Uh, and uh, we're going to keep pitching. Keep pitching. Nobody on base at the current time. And all we need now is for Dez to uh, not stink. All right. Okay, that's good enough. Furious to first. Out number three. Sides are tied. But we gave up two runs. Ooh. Yeah. Hatchet Malibu, now up. Yeah. What you got for us, Hatchet? What you got? Ball inside. Uh, that's ball one. Uh, not interested. Ball two. Hatchet there, possibly going early. Could have left that one. Could have could have waited a bit longer. I mean, it was a, it was a respectable hit, but it was never going to get anywhere. Alright, okay, and for our next trick, it's Ulysses' failure. Wastes no time to get out. Good. Pretty much the same area of the field. And he's gone as well. Here's Papal. One for one today. Got himself a single last time round. No! Too high. Don't swing at that kind of stuff. And there you go. Pretty much three pitches, three outs there. Bulldozer power going home early. Uh, here's Cuckoo Jorski. Who's, uh, he's going to have a go and see what they can make of life and all of its myriad wonders. Yeah, sure. Oh, good effort there from Furious, but it was not to be. Uh, had he caught that, I would have been quite excited. He didn't know, so I'm not. Here's uh, Jermaine Arc Discharge, second baseman. And once again, we've given up a base hit early on. It's uh, This is just not the bulldozer power that we know. No, just, just it just isn't. Just, just isn't, isn't ideal. That one's gone straight to Cindy. It'll throw to second. It'll throw to first, and it's a double play. Back round to Blix Gorner. Are they keeping him in? Yes, they are, because the game is uh, is close, and we're only in the fourth inning right now. Ball one. Cut Des. 
Stop trying to be clever. Just keep it basic, Des. You're our best pitcher, and all you need to do is keep it simple. It's the pitcher. There's no need to get overexcited about pitching to him. Cindy makes the stop, throws to Kojak, and that's out number three. Uh, no, uh, no damage inflicted there in the uh, in the fourth. Uh, his furious sponge buff, batting for BDP, got a home run with his first at bat. Uh, he's done enough, I would say, today. But we we do need more anyway. So we'll we'll see how he gets on. 96 mile an hour, sort of fast-ish ball for his first one, and that one's going to be caught out in centre field. Poncho Ramirez getting a lot of business from Bulldozer Power today. Uh, his uh, Zoltan. Also had a homer. But uh, we just need a little bit of consistent play here, team. That'll do. Zoltan slaps it up between the legs of the pitcher. And he'll make it onto base. This gives Julius Hardware a chance to redeem himself for uh, his stinky play the first time around. But stinky play from Julius Hardware is, is the kind of thing we expect. Let's try one. And that one's a ball. Hardware started his swing, but didn't. Ah, oh, not this time, no, no. He's, he, he swung at uh, some old rubbish, and he's got himself caught out for his for his trouble. Kojak missed her on. Two outs now. Kojak is our, uh, our last best hope. Oh, chose to swing at that one a little bit on the late side. Okay. Come on, Kojak. Come on. Come on. Ball two. That wasn't inside, that was outside. What's the umpire talking about? Uh, strike two, ball two. That's a nice pitch. It's a pretty good swing, but it couldn't quite make the distance. Ramirez there snagging another one, and uh, Bulldozer Power are gone for the day. Uh, here's uh, Scott Lemon. He's had nothing so far today, but that'll change. Yeah. Yeah, that's going uh, to. That'll, that'll manifest poorly. Kojak throw, tries to throw to first again. Eyeliner this time manages not to catch it. Man, not to drop it. He dropped it last time. That's that's kind of where I was going with that. Here's Myra's sacrifice. Uh, she's also hitless so far today. Still plenty of game to go, though. Plenty of plenty of game still to play. It's all fine. Myra, don't, don't do yourself down, Myra. You've got every opportunity to redeem yourself. You know, you need to hit some inbounds at some point, but other than that, plenty of time left for redemption. Strike three. Eyeliner gets his third strike out of the afternoon. And, uh, sacrifice is gone. Um, right then. Okay, who are we looking at? I don't know. It's uh, Kira Refund. All right, come on. Kojak with a diving catch. And uh, Bulldozer Power put him away quickly there. Uh, here now into the bottom of the fifth. Dez is up to bat. We'll, we'll keep him in. He's still got plenty of life left in his arm. No reason to take him out. Let's just get him out. Yeah, that's a far more sensible thing to do. Yeah, there we go. Say hi, Dez. Say bye, Dez. Here's Cindy Vapid. 0 for 2 today. And that's not changing this time. Swinging at the first pitch is uh, history. Here's Hatchet Malibu. 0 for 2 today. Yeah. How about you just hang out for a moment or two there, uh, Hatchet? Don't be don't be in a hurry. Let yourself get settled. Let this fool throw a bunch of pitches that, you know, he's never going to take back. That's it. Right, you can swing away now. Okay, good. Pretty much predictable result there, and uh, Hatchet's gone too. And at the end of five, it is three to two in favour of Bulldozer Power. Remember, we're in the uh, the playoffs now, so I think we've got a three-game series here, and it's first to two wins. We'll we'll progress through to the the, the semi-finals. Yeah, that's fine. It's okay. Do they call it the semi-finals? No, they don't call it the semi-finals. It will be the uh, the the conferential conferential uh, divisional uh, league-based. Conferential titles. Conferential. Conferential's not a word. Yeah, it is. All right, we're looking at Mighty Buffon, who hasn't had any success so far with the bat. But, you know, 
That could change quite readily. Will it change at all? Well, he struck out, so uh, not on the strength of that performance. Here is Poncho Ramirez. Got himself a walk so far today, but he struck out on a second occasion. Catch it. Not even close. Okay. All right. All right. Runners now first and second. One out. Uh, Cuckoo Joski, two singles for him so far today, and that could be uh, that could be problematic. Well, I don't know if it could be problematic, but it, you know it, there there is an opportunity here for for Peninsula Transport to do some damage. The question is, will they, or will Des be able to fox him? Well, he foxed him pretty good with that, but it, it didn't get him out. All right, try foxing him more. Nope. Nope, still all, all fouling. Uh, 74 pitches thrown by Eyeliner. He's coming up to the end of his uh, his arm. That would be his hand then. Yep. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna need to uh, we're gonna need to sit him fairly soon. That one's gone. Hi. Zoltan's calling for it. Hatchet's moving to interfere. Oh no! Hatchet with a drop. Having interfered with Zoltan and we gave up a base hit that we really did not need to give up. And that's now the base is fully loaded. His Jermaine Arc discharge has had nothing out of the day so far. And the fielding of Bulldozer Power is woeful. 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 Uh, we've got... Uh, we need two outs here, team. I'm not giving anything up. Otherwise, we're going to stink the joint up and we're, we'll deservedly be ejected from the premises. Right, Zoltan, he's coming in for it. He's coming in for it. They're going to try for the run. There we go. Here comes the tying run attempt. No good. What a great throw from Zoltan there. All the way to the catcher and a double play. Uh, what a save. But flipping it. There's eyeliner. Just causing the, uh, the fans of Bulldozer Power utter conniptions. Here's Ulysses' failure. 0 for 2 today. Ah, oh, for crying out loud. What are you doing? He's going to get caught on a foul where he broke his favourite bat. No, no. Batting while on tilt is not a good idea. Untilt yourself. All right. Here's Papal. Moderately reliable Papal Event Horizon now. We'll try and, uh, we'll try and get something going here in this sixth inning. Moderately dependable. Moderately. Not quite so dependable today, though. Yeah. Okay. Here's Furious. We've got two outs now that we really didn't need to have. Uh, Furious is uh, one of the bright sparks in the team today. But, I mean, that can only hold as far as he manages to spark brightly. Ball two. Takes the first strike. And, uh, and Gornok, too, is starting to reach uh, a, a period where his arm is not going to be at its most... It doesn't really matter, though. No, Furious could only dribble that one out straight back to the pitcher and the sides retired. And uh, at the end of six, it's still three plays two in favour of Bulldozer Power. But the way that Bulldozer Power are playing right now, not feeling it. Here's Blix Gornok. They're going to they're gonna switch him out, surely. There we go. They're bringing in Hugo Blowfish in his place to, uh, to pinch hit. And, uh, well, Des, I don't really want to take you out because you've got batting coming up. But at the same time, I don't want to give up easy runs. Right, okay, fine. That's the decision made. Uh, yeah, let's not muck about. Bring on the Conservative. All right, Jeff Conservative makes his first appearance in the playoffs. I've got to get used to the different pitching angle because, obviously, uh, Jeff throws left. Yeah. Yep, okay. Yep, that's, uh, that's good. Steady on there, Jeff. Calm it down. There we go. You bring in a pinch hitter and Jeff Conservative says no. And uh, terminates you with prejudice. Scott Lemon up next. Over three so far today, but that's not going to hold. He's, he's overdue a hit. Hatch it. Thank you. Well, he may be overdue a hit, but he hasn't had it this time. Here's Myra's sacrifice. Uh, her confidence is starting to wane ever so slightly uh, since she is also 0 for 3 today. Kojak. What a catch! Kojak Nisteron picks off her second great catch of the day. 
Hugo Blowfish uh, is uh, is back out again. Tandy Appleseed coming in for a bit of relief pitching action. Uh, here is Zoltan to lead the way. Two for two today. He's at a home run. He's, uh, he's currently looking to be our tastiest player on the pitch. There was some weird spin on that ball. Yeah. And that's another, another base hit there for Zoltan. If he had any doubters, they should shut up. Here's uh, Julie Hardware. He's had nothing, nothing today apart from a couple of fielding errors. He wastes no time. He's going to get a base hit as well. And that puts us with runners on uh, first and second. Bulldozer Power arguably in their strongest position now since they were in the opening mo. Second, second inning. Here's Kojak. Right. That one was a bit on the low side. We could have potentially capitalised there, but it would have been chancy, so we didn't. Kojak, nice hit. And that's enough to load up the bases. Could have gone for home. Could have. Oh, no. Oh, Jeff. Jeff, one rule. Simple rule. Easy rule. Don't get everyone out. All right? That's all you have to do is just don't get everyone out. All right? You can, you can swing. You can take the strike out. It doesn't really matter. Just don't get everyone out. Okay. Everyone back. There we go. All right, okay. Jeff there, caught on an infield fly. That'll bring up Cindy with the perfect opportunity to uh, to restate her uh, agenda and uh, and get herself back in everyone's good books. And that'll do it. That's a good run. All right, Cindy on base. Base is still loaded. One out. Bulldozer power over. Run batted in there. Here's Hatchet Malibu's opportunity to do exactly the same thing. Hatchet, state your agenda. A double play would be poor here. Okay, here we go. Can Hatchet go down in history? That's a nice hit. And it's out of here. With a grand slam, Hatchet Malibu has arrived, finally. We've been waiting a long time for this to happen. Uh, but now, Hatchet Malibu is all up on. Uh, and uh, and Bulldozer Power's tenuous lead has been extended there to uh, to make it a six-run difference. Failure's going to give himself up cheaply. He's just so overexcited about the, the prospect of BDP potentially winning their opener here in the playoffs uh, that, that he just doesn't care anymore. What's the game over? Finish it now, he says. Let's get it done. Let's all go home and, and have graham crackers which should be pronounced Graham, incidentally, because that's what that word is. It's not Graham, it's Graham. There's, Graham is G-R-A-M, right? Graham is G-R-H-A-M. Or G-R-A-E-M-E. -E. No? Has it got an E on the end of it? I don't really care. Either way, Americans, Graham crackers. You people are mad. Uh, here's Kira Refund. She's had one hit so far today. All we need to do now is not collapse uh, as long as we can uh, we can hold some semblance of uh, of organized professional ball here uh, then we'll we'll come away with a victory all right she swung at everything so far let's see if uh, Jeff's first change up can make her bemused it's a good pitch no no bemusal going on there she's just hitting everything foul all right okay well try the uh, try a curve uh, try a curve that swings out. There you go. That's good. Nope. She fouled that one too. Kira Flaming. Uh, foul ball. Is, this should be a new name. That one's got a spongy. They'll have it. Rocket to first. And that's out number one. Jackson Clown Car. Did the damage with a home run previously. Uh, but uh, that doesn't mean that he is going to be the complete salvation for Peninsula Transport. Although he could be. We don't. We rule nothing out at this stage. That one's gone to Cindy. The Cindy Kojak combo there, and that's another out. His uh, mighty Buffont, 0 for three today. His confidence is still fine. No, it's not. No, his confidence is tense. Well, it should be. Uh, he's he's had a bad day so far. Uh, will uh, Will Jeff be able to fox him? That's the question. 
Doesn't need, Jeff doesn't need to fox him. He's, that it hits a clunker and he's gone. Eight innings gone there for Peninsula Transport. Uh, Bulldoze Power now have their eighth to play. Uh, he's furious. He's only had one hit today, but it was a good one. And that one looked quite promising as well. Not as promising as it needed to be, though. Flipping Ramirez is there and he's on it. Uh, here's Zoltan. Three for three. A home run. Couple of singles. Run batting in. All of that kind of business. He's got nothing more to prove. But he's going to give it a go anyway. A nice catch from Art Discharge there. And, uh, and Zoltan's first fail failure there and, uh, just occurred. Here's Julie ruddy useless hardware who gets on base see it's the abuse when we abuse him he delivers if we're if we're in any way nice to him then he doesn't here's kojak strike one she could have had that one but uh, left it alone tries to this one instead that's not going to accomplish anything sides retired uh, but holding on to a six-run lead, Bulldozer Power go into the ninth inning. And they're in pretty pretty good shape. Here is Poncho Ramirez. And uh, Jeff is still... He's got pretty much everything still in the tank. But we might bring in the prod. Uh, just purely to keep Jeff ever so slightly fresher. That's not great grammar. It's not, is it? No. Keep Jeff slightly fresher. That's better. Yeah, keep... If in doubt, keep your language simple. And a strikeout there for Jeff Conservative. Lovely job. Excellent work. Well played. Big job. Big job there. And uh, Cuckoo Jorsky next up to fight the Conservative. Hatchet there with another flaming mist. Flaming everything. Just what is going on with my fielding. Here is Arc Discharge. And uh, if they don't sub him, I'll be very surprised. They're not subbing him. I'm very surprised because he's he's terrible. Bang. Strike one. All right, Jeff, come on, take us home, Jeffrey. Uh, like, you're not uh, failure with a, a good, solid diving effort, but it was not to be. And what what is even happening? Everyone's yeah, I know some of these passes aren't all that, but it doesn't really matter. Shep Rotten's coming into bat in place of Tandy Appleseed. And we've got runners at the corners, and uh, Jeff is gonna—he's gonna put them away. We, we believe in Jeff. Hatch it, nothing. And that'll be a run. That might even be two at this stage. Yep, rounding thirds. They're gonna get another run off that. And all of a sudden, the uh, six—the uh, six-point lead is down to three. It's Scott Lemon. No, it's down to four. It's okay. We're, nah, that's fine. If it was a three-point lead, I'd be like, ooh. But it's not. It's, it's a four-point lead. We're fine. One out. Come on, Jeff. Finish him off. Strike one. Come on, Jeff. Jeffrey. Jeffo. Jeff. Come on, Jeff. Come on. Strike two. Good, 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 good. Sponges. Nothing. Oh, my goodness. All you needed to do was stop the ball and we'd have had a run out there. Well, runners one and three again. Is Myra sacrifice? Uh, Sponge Bath has twisted his finger. Right, okay, substitution time. Right, that's it. Get off. McGurk in for Sponge Bath, and uh, Jeff is going to sit down in favour of ominous. No, not ominous mob. Uh, pitchers uh, must pitch a minimum of three batters or end an inning before they can be relieved. Uh, they, yeah, but it was accidental. It was accidental. I wanted to change what I had committed to nothing. I didn't mean ominous, Bob. We've just put in a terrible batter, a, a terrible pitcher. Oh, crikey. It do, well, okay. All right, yeah, no, that'll do. All right. I don't, as a misclick, I uh, meant uh, Oscar Cattle Prod. I saw the O, went straight for it, and clicked before giving it any kind of a read at all. Ominous Bob is terrible i mean he's a bad pitcher at the best of times and he's not in the best of spirits so uh we've got to be very careful here yeah. you know what no don't walk him all right 
Yeah, just Bob, keep it simple. What will be will be. It's not your fault. All right. Uh, it's my fault. I was too quick. I was too hasty. Break. That's some nice pitching, Bob. Keep it up. Uh, do you reckon you can catch him out with this? No. Okay, that's going to be two runs there. Not Bob's fault. Bob is not to blame. Bordeaux's of power now have a two-run lead. Here is home run hitter Jackson Clowncar, and uh, the mood has become somber. There's an error there on behalf of the management. Right, I'm one of you catch it. Thank you. As my fielders almost caused me to lose my rag entirely. Three of them kind of kind of meander towards where the ball's going to land again. Uh, will I? I? I don't know. Bordeaux's power there cling on against adversity, against everything, to uh, to to pull out a win. Eight play six, but what a what a spectrum of disaster we were on uh, in various different ways. Um, yeah, ominous Bob gets the save. <laughs> okay, well I hope that puts him in a good mood. Uh, Des Island with the win, despite not playing that well, he's still got five strikeouts. Your stars of the day, Hatchet Malibu, puts her name down in ink on paper. Zoltan Zoltan, your second star, Jackson Clowncar third. Okay, we've got two more games to catch... Well, three more games to catch up on before we're up on again. Uh, up? On? Yeah, whatever. Uh, the Minstrels are taking on the Axemen. And uh, you've got uh, PG Percy Jeff taking uh, Brandy Fever to town uh, in a pitching showdown. Uh, the Chronicler's there. No, it's the Axemen. The Chronicler's got a, a new... Um, it's because they've got new logos, you see. The Axemen there, anyway... Just destroying the minstrels, which is what you want to see happen to a minstrel. Uh, the Steganauts are taking on the Beekeepers. Beekeepers had a massive lead early in the season, uh, but they didn't manage to hold it on to be perfect. The Steganauts coming out strong, though, and uh, an unexpected win for uh, for the Steganauts. Second game, uh, Stardozer are taking on Colonel School in the conference semi-finals. Conferential? No. Okay. And uh, Stardos are doing well, but uh, it's hard to say. For, uh, it's a close game, but uh, but Colonel School get it done, taking that to a one and one record. Uh, we've got to take on uh, Peninsula Transport again. Yeah, I know that's that's the thing. Uh, Bubbly Merchandise will be pitching for us. Starting pitching for uh, the Peninsula Transport is Jasbert Cobra Cabana. It's going to be an interesting game. I hope to see you there. I've been Colonel Failure. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll see you soon. Cheerio.